Well, the guitar concerto uh, in modern times, we might say, begins with the concerto that Casanova Tedesco wrote for Segovia, in, which I believe he completed in 1939. And Casanova Tedesco, being an Italian Jew, was just preparing his flight from Italy um, to come to America and, and uh, work, as he only did work in Hollywood and teaching, uh, I think, at, at uh, UCLA in, uh, in California. So that work was very much colored by uh, Tedesco's great friendship to Segovia and some of the modal writing in the last movement, with, particularly which is used a lot of Phrygian mode, which, of course, the typical Spanish scale, Phrygian scale, with the uh, lowered uh, uh, sixth, well, originally would be... Concerto, it's uh, it's actually a uh, Phrygian on A, which we know from the Bulerias um, in flamenco and in many other works. Um, so probably that's the first uh, 20th century guitar concerto. I could be wrong on that. Certainly one of the first, and very shortly after that, of course, Rodrigo wrote his masterpiece of the Concierto de Aranjuez which became the dominant guitar concerto in the history of the guitar. However, in the 19th century, there was also a rich tradition of guitar and orchestra, particularly in the works of Mauro Giuliani, who wrote three solo guitar uh, concertos, uh, two of them in A and one of them for a terz guitar, which was uh, tuned uh, a third higher, as the name implies. And Giuliani wrote his third concerto, which I think is Opus 70, uh, for the Tetz guitar, which was uh, uh, going to sound a third up. And that enabled him uh, to use, uh, I think it's in the key of F, uh, with D major fingering. So if you take a D major chord, slide it up here, that's what it's going to sound like, even though you're kind of fingering in D major. But you're fingering in guitar from D major, but it's sounding in F because the whole instrument is tuned up a third. Also, Carulli wrote some uh, guitar concertos, uh, also a guitar and flute concerto, and uh, there are a few other people also in the 19th century who, who wrote a bit uh, of music for guitar and orchestra. I think at that time the absence of any possibility of amplification and the disparity in the quantity of sound between the guitar and even using the old instruments, the orchestra, uh, made for some problems, and these were commented in even during Giuliani's time, for example, by the reviewer in the city of Vienna, where he premiered his first concerto, Opus 30.